uh, Lecce versus Verona. Lecce, very impressive midweek in defeat against Juve. Uh, plus 120 against a Verona side who, well, let's face it, uh, it couldn't have gone any worse. Uh, plus 245. The draw is at plus 210. Lecce to score twice is plus 155. They score twice. They win the game, Nick. I'm going to go with the home side just to win the game and keep 1-0 on my side. Not complicating it. Home win. I think you are a brave, brave soul to do that. And I get it. They did look pretty good against Juventus. Uh, but I don't want to put too much stock into just the one match, especially because Verona, who's been playing very, very well defensively uh, since the World Cup break. And, you know, I was on the under in that match. And, of course, they that was over really quickly against Inter. Six goals allowed. Uh, but if we throw out, let's just call it an anomaly. Inter has been they're red hot right now. They're playing great. So I'm going to throw that one out the window. Before that, Verona, four matches unbeaten. They've been proved defensively. They allowed just three goals in those four matches. Again, yes, I know they just allowed six. Uh, 1.03 expected goals per 90 minutes. Since the World Cup break, again, throwing out that inner result, they've allowed more than one goal just twice in 17 matches. Kept five clean sheets, averaged just 1.15 expected goals per match. Before the World Cup break, they allowed two goals 10 times in 15 matches. Didn't keep a single clean sheet. An average of 1.52 expected goals allowed. And, yes, they conceded six goals on over three expected goals to enter on Wednesday. But is Leche here? I mean, obviously not. So I'm not worried about that. I don't think they're going to get the quality chances that uh, Inter were able to. I don't think they're necessarily going to finish the chances if they do get anything. Uh, Leche have one win in their last ten. They've scored just four goals in those ten matches, never more than one in a match. They were held scoreless six times. On the season, Leche, like Torino, have never scored more than two goals in any match. And in a very wild twist, they've not allowed more than two goals in any match. But the under here is set at two, so I think it's a little low. Uh, so, like I like to do when I think it's going to be tight and low scoring, I like to take the head start. Rona, plus a quarter of a goal, minus 110 right now. I think if they get one, I don't see Leche scoring two. So, I think that'll be enough to at least give us a half win here. And I just, I just don't see a lot between the teams, so I'm just going to take the head start. Okay, so my thought process here, Nick and Amina, is that my whole season, if I'm a Lecce player, comes down to this 90 minutes. Because I can put in, what, seven point gap between myself and the team that are third from bottom, which, which means there's only three games to go. Four <laughs> games to go, right? But Verona are going to have to win at least three of them to catch me. So for me, Lecce go all out. They're as brave as Lions. And at plus 120 for a side that I think gained something in defeat, Mina, against Juve. I think that they felt that they more than matched them. They kept going. And that's a massive thing because Verona, they didn't keep going. No. Yeah, I mean... The thing is with this is that like Inter are just much better going forward than Juventus are. I mean, let's be honest with you, Juventus has, has been atrocious. They're just very clinical, but they don't actually know how to dominate the ball. They don't know how to control the game. So what Inter do is that they have like one, like three chances, they make one count and that's how they usually win the games. And what they do is very much like a Trojan horse. They lull you into false sense of security so that you end up playing as badly as they do. And you always think you have a chance, but then they come back because they can score just like Paredes did from a free kick or from a penalty or from something and they'll get their win. I don't know if Lecce are that good. I know that Juventus made them look that way, um, but they're to me a, a sort of team that do a little bit of what the opposite of Inter. Inter are Pazza. You can't be lulled, you know, you can't really tell whether or not they're good but Juventus don't know how to play so they always make the opponent look better I'm not buying that Lecce are that good I, I just I see where you're going with this in the sense that this would be a determining factor to them but if you look, look at the last six games I mean they just ha they've just scored and very little and conceded I don't think Verona score okay I don't think Verona score Verona. because uh, Verona plus 155 yeah Verona creates so many chances, but they've only scored eight goals away from home. The entire season, they've scored yeah. eight goals away from home. So, for me, this is a draw. Um, I don't know how to split them, I'll be honest with you. I think that they're both, on paper, just two very, very bad teams. I actually think Verona's a better team. Um, 
uh, they've unfortunately just shown that side of them a little bit too late. But I think they've started to get something of an identity. Um, but they, if the problem with them is that they throw the towel in. Um, so as soon as they feel like they can't win the game, they don't concentrate anymore and it's all over. Um, something that's happened to other teams too. Lecce are at home and that's the bonus. But I can see maybe a 1-0, but I would probably go for the draw because I really do think this is 1-1 all over it or a 0-0. Yeah. But I've just got... I like three different ones here. I've got Lecce, don't complicate, plus 120. They win it, they're seven points above the drop zone. Verona not to score at plus 155 is another option. Both teams yeah, to score, no, is another option. And Lecce at plus 155. Lecce, minus 12 goal difference. Verona, minus 24. Obviously, OK, we'll give Inter game 2 nil, so we can say it's minus 20. But um, I just see that Lecce... If you want to stay in Serie A, you go out and you win this game. It is simple as that. Give me the best 95 minutes of your season and you will be uh, rewarded with Serie A fixtures next season. OK, let's have a little look at the official picks because I fancy I'm on my own. There's a sh Oh, no, I'm not. Verona, double chance. Minus 110. There's a spy in the midst. They didn't even declare any of that. We were sitting there at the table. Lecce money line at plus 120 and Verona plus 0.25 minus 110 means that he's looking for a nil nil, you know. He's looking for a nil nil. So that means also under, which I'm very surprised that Nick did not go for. Let's have a quick look.